grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And also with you. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. We had hoped to be in church today, but here we are in lockdown again. We managed a different type of celebrations in church for Christmas. Our family celebrations were somewhat curtailed, but we hope to meet up with our family and friends early in the new year. To us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all, all desires, desires known, and, and from, from whom, whom no secrets, secrets are hidden, hidden. Cleanse, cleanse the thoughts, thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration, inspiration of, of your Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit that, that we, we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ says. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Lord, have, have mercy, mercy on us, us and, and write these, these your laws in our hearts. The Son of Righteousness has dawned with healing in his, in his wings. Let us come to the light of Christ, confessing our sins in penitence and faith. God our Father, you sent your Son full of grace and truth. Forgive our failure to receive him. Jesus, our Saviour, you are born in poverty and laid in a manger. Forgive our greed and rejection of your ways. Spirit of love, your servant Mary responded joyfully to your call. Forgive the hardness of our hearts. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Collect of the First Sunday of Christmas. Almighty God, who wonderfully created us in your own image, and yet more wonderfully restored us through your Son, Jesus Christ, grant that, as he came to share in our humanity, so we may share the life of his divinity, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The lesson is from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 61, beginning at verse 10. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My whole being shall exult in my God. For he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself with a garland, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations. For Zion's sake, I will not keep silent, and for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest, until her vindication shines out like the dawn, and her salvation 
like a burning torch. The nations shall see your vindication and all the kings your glory. And you shall be called by a new name that the mouth of the Lord will give. You shall be a crown of beauty in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem in the hand of your God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm is number 148, and if you have a prayer book, it's on page 764. Alleluia. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all you his angels. Praise him, all his host. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you stars of light. Praise him, heaven and heavens and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded, and they were created. He made them fast forever and ever, and he gave them a law which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters and all deeps. Fire and hail, snow and mist, tempestuous wind, fulfilling his word. Mountains and all hills, fruit trees, and all cedars, wild beasts, and all cattle, creeping things, and birds on the wing, kings of the earth, and all peoples, princes and rulers of all the world, young men and women, old and young together, let them praise the name of the Lord. For his name only is exalted, his splendour above earth and heaven. He has raised up the horn of his people, and praise for all his faithful servants. The children of Israel, a people who are near him. Alleluia. The epistle is from Galatians chapter 4, beginning at verse 4. When the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, in order to redeem those who were under the law so that we might receive adoption as children. And because you are children, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a child. And if a child, then also an heir through God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hear the Gospel of our Saviour Christ, according to St. Luke, in the second chapter, beginning at the 15th verse. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said one to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see the thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph, and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about the child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told to them. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We believe in one God, the the Father, Father, the Almighty, Almighty, maker maker of of heaven and earth, earth, of all that that is seen and and unseen. unseen. We We believe in in one Lord Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, the only only Son of God, God, eternally begotten begotten of the the Father, Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made. Of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary, and was made man. 
For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Let us bring before God our needs and the needs of the world. Let us pray to our incarnate Lord, who has brought us out of darkness and into his own marvellous light. Christ born for us, Son of God given for us. Help us to know you, to worship and to serve you. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Wonderful Counselor, you order all things in your wisdom. Help the Church to reveal the mystery of your love and fill her with the spirit of truth. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Mighty God, the government is on your shoulders. Guide the leaders of the nations and bring in your kingdom of justice and righteousness. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Everlasting Father, you call us to live together in unity. Protect by your mercy all your children. Bless our families. Renew our communities. Lord, in your mercy. Hear, Hear our, our prayer. prayer. Prince of Peace, you bring reconciliation through the cross. By your healing power, Give to all who suffer your gift of wholeness and peace. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We give thanks for the memory and example of all who have died in faith. And we pray that we may share with them the joys of your eternal kingdom. Merciful, Merciful Father, Father, accept, accept these our prayers for, for the, the sake of, of your, your Son, Son, our, our Saviour, Saviour, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. We do not presume to come to this your table, merciful, merciful Lord, Lord, trusting in, in our own righteousness, but, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord, whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant, Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to, and to drink, drink his blood, blood that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body and our souls washed through his most precious blood and that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given and his name shall be called the Prince of Peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Word made flesh, life of the world. In your incarnation, you embraced our poverty. By your spirit, may we share in your riches. Amen. Amen. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Father almighty and ever living God, at all times and in all places, it is right to give you thanks and praise. You have given Jesus Christ, your only son, to be born of the Virgin Mary. And through him, you have given us power to become the children of God. And so with all your people, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and 
singing. Blessed are you, Father, the creator and sustainer of all things. You made us in your own image. Male and female, you created us. Even when we turned away from you, you never ceased to care for us. But in your love and mercy, you freed us from the slavery of sin, giving your only begotten Son to become man and suffer death for us on the cross to redeem us. He made there the one complete and all-sufficient sacrifice for the sins of the whole world. He instituted and in his holy gospel commanded us to continue a perpetual memory of his precious death until he comes again. On the night that he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks to you, he gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, Father, with this bread and this cup we do as Christ your Son commanded. We remember his passion and death, we celebrate his resurrection and ascension, and we look for the coming of his kingdom. Accept through him, our great High Priest, this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, and as we eat and drink these holy gifts, Grant by the power of the life-giving Spirit that we may be made one in your holy church and partakers of the body and blood of your Son, that he may dwell in us and we in him, through the same Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, Almighty Father forever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour Christ has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The bread which we break is a sharing in the body of Christ. We being many are one body, for we all share in the one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Remember that he died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Heavenly Father, you have refreshed us with this heavenly sacrament. As your Son came to live among us, grant us grace to live our lives united in love and obedience as those who long to live with him in heaven, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we, we thank, thank you for feeding us, us with the spiritual food of the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Christ who by his incarnation gathered into one all things earthly and heavenly, fill you with his joy and peace and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen.